Hi everyone, my name is Yongjin Oh. I'm going to talk about an efficient generation method of smoke simulation. The title is Two-Step Temporal Interpolation Network using forward advection for efficient smoke simulation. Fluid simulation, which aims to compute the motion of smoke, water, and fire, uh, many studies have been proposed to reduce the high computational cost and uh, increase the accuracy. Uh, recently, efficient flow simulation methods using deep neural networks have been proposed. For example, a method that uh, replaces a high computational process with a deep neural network model, a CNN-based method to synthesize details of smoke on a, a low-resolution smoke and a super-resolution method for a smoke simulation have been also proposed. However, all of the methods I mentioned before uh, have focused on reducing the cost of one-frame computation, so uh, they need to repeat the simulation or inferences of the neural network model for every frame in order to generate a flow simulation with a high frame rate. In this talk, we propose a method to efficiently generate a high frame rate simulation uh, via a temporal interpolation of smoke simulation results. The target simulation of the proposed method is computed with a large time step, and we conduct uh, DNS for temporal interpolation, and we can get the uh, high frame rate smoke simulation. As you may know, research on temporal interpolation in computer vision for general videos has been mainly all conducted, and various temporal interpolation methods using deep neural networks have been proposed. However, some problems happen when we applied previous temporal interpolation methods on smoke frames, because the contours of smoke froze uh, frequently deformed even in a small time step, so we can compute the optical flow information exactly between the two input smoke frames, and the interpolation results can be inaccurate and blurry. This is an overview of the proposed method. Uh, the first step is to perform uh, optical flow-based interpolation for two given smoke frames. In the second step, to reduce the inaccurate and blurry artifacts of the first step, we compute the temporary in between smoke frames by the uh, forward advection process, which is a low-cost uh, physical computation. After that, uh, we interpolate between the um, forward advection regions and first step regions. Now, uh, we will talk about more details of the proposed method. In order to make the first interpolation region, uh, we apply the super slow mo method, uh, which is a, a famous template interpolation for uh, general videos. The first interpolate smoke frame is row TS1. Uh, this frame is computed via a Vegard warping according to optical flow maps O uh, between ground truth smoke row hat 0 and row hat 1. VT from 0, VT from 1 are uh, visibility maps for the occluded smoke area, and GS1 is a normalization factor for a uh, first interplay smoke frame. This figure uh, shows the overview of the first step network. Uh, the network consists of two kinds of units. First one is flow computation network, and another one is arbitrary time flow estimation network. With the uh, two kinds of network inferences and vagot warping computation, we can get the first step result. The rows function for the first step consists of three kinds of rows. The first one is reconstruction rows. 
The reconstruction was quantifies the difference between the temporary interplay smoke frame and the ground to smoke frame. Second one is warping loss. That means that uh, difference between the backward warping result and the ground to smoke frame. The final loss is the smoothness loss, which means the uh, encouraging neighboring grids to have similar optical flow values. As I mentioned before in the previous slide, the optical flow-based interpolation has problems such as a uh, inaccurate and blurry interpolation result. So we proceed with the second interpolation step to compensate for artifacts of the first step. The second network interpolates between the result of the first step and the temporary smoke frame rho TA which is compute with the uh, forward advection function. The forward advection result is not appropriate as a temporal interpolation result because the difference between forward advection and ground truth frame increases as the uh, arbitrary time t value increases. However, all of the four advection research frames are generated through a physical computation, so there is no, uh, there are no irregular smoke shapes or blurry artifacts. So uh, we use the four advection research in the second interpolation process. The equation for second step is similar to the first step's equation. However, uh, because the first time frame and for the vection results are compute for the same arbitrary time t, so uh, we compute the smoke frame of the second step for uh, arbitrary state alpha. Below figure uh, shows the effect of the second interpolation, as shown in the left column for the vection result, which is the blue one is more accurate and less blurry than the first step result, which is a, a green one. So the, the second step result is generated closer to the full advection result. On the other hand, uh, as shown in the right column, the first, red, uh, first step result is more accurate than the full advection result. So the final result is generated closer to the first step result. The loss function of second step is also similar to the first step. However, uh, we added the temporal coherence loss, uh, which is uh, time derivatives between the generated temporal interpolation result and the smoke input smoke frames. Then we compare that with the temporal coherence of the ground truth frames. In the manuscript of the proposed method, we have explain the other implementation details, uh, training and test policies, and so on. So uh, please refer to the manuscript for other details of the proposed method. Now, uh, we will talk about the experimental results of the proposed method. In order to analyze the accuracy of the temporal interpolation regions compared to the of, uh, previous temporal interpolation methods. We trained and tested the pre previous temporal interpolation methods using 2D smoke data set. In the previous methods, uh, what the flow is not a dim neural network based method, but other four methods are dim neural network based method. The left video is the ground truth smoke simulation, and a uh, video in the middle is the results of the proposed method. Compared to the results of both methods, uh, the water flows results uh, was not uh, uh, does not produce a smooth result. For seccom and super slope methods. As we can see from the results in the red boxes, non-smooth interpolation results or sudden changes of smoke simulations are generated.
For the cyclogen and dyne method, as we can see from the result in the red boxes, uh, non smooth interpolation results were generated. This table shows the average MSCE, SSIM, LPIPS, and temporal LPIPS values of the smoke frames generated by the proposed method and previous temporal interpolation methods. Uh, the SSIM value of the proposed method was found to be the highest uh, among the vessels used for comparison, and the values of uh, MSCE, LPIPS, and temporal LPIPS were the lowest. We also measured the values of the proposed method without the temporal coherence errors. Um, when we compare the proposed method using the temporal coherence errors, the values of uh, MSE, SSIM, and LPIPS were not uh, significantly different. But uh, we found that the temporal LPIPS value, which measures the perceptual changes of the consecutive frames, uh, improved sub substantially uh, when we temporal coherence rules was used. In order to compare the performance of the proposed method with that of uh, previous smoke generation methods that used the dim neural networks model, we implemented and trained the previous methods to generate a smoke density field of the same size as the uh, smoke scene used in the experiment. The computation time required by the proposed method is smaller than the required by the previous smoke generation methods. The results confirm that the uh, uh, proposed methods can more efficiently generate a smoke simulation than the physics-based simulation methods or the methods use, using uh, deep neural networks. As the proposed method converts a uh, raw frame rate smoke simulation compute with a large time step into a high frame rate simulation, uh, its results are different from those of the physics based simulation compute with a small time step. The first row of the, uh, this figure shows the smoke frames generated by the proposed method, and the second row shows the physics-based simulation results compute with a small time step. The interpolate frame is not significantly different from the corresponding frame of compute by the physics-based simulation with a small time step. Uh, but uh, as it can be seen in the third column, there is a difference between the simulation frame compute with a large time step and the corresponding frame compute with a small time step. Uh, as a result, the proposed method has a limitation in generating uh, high frame rate simulation that are the same as the result of the physics-based simulation compute with a small time step. This is owing to the difference between the physics-based simulation that are compute with a large time step and with a small time step. Now. This is a temporal interpolation result for uh, 3D smoke simulation. These are uh, 3D smoke results of the proposed method. Two videos shown in the left and the middle are the target simulation of the proposed method played with a high frame rate and a low frame rate. As you can see in the left video, since the number of frames of the target simulation is too small, the length of the played video is very short. Uh, the video played on the right side in the temporal interpolation result of the proposed method. As we can see in the video, the change of the interpolated smoke is smooth, and the length of the video is appropriate even though it plays with a high frame rate. These results are the temporal interpolation example which shows the case that uh, external object is go going through the smoke. Uh, we can see the proposed method is capable of uh, appropriate temporal interpolation even when a linearly moving sphere passes the through 
the small. These regions are another 3D smoke example that has a bigger resolution than previous 3D simulation regions. With the smoke 3D and moving spheres in example, you can see the limitation of the proposed method. The figure shows the example of the inaccurate temporal interpolation region. You can see the smoke shapes are pre-deformed before the spear penetrates the smoke volume. Uh, it is because the dead dog model does not have any information to predict the spear's motion. So the inaccurate temporal interpolation regions may be generated. We have proposed a two-stage temporal interpolation network using forward advection for uh, efficient smoke simulation generation. It is because the proposed method converts a low frame rate smoke simulation uh, into a high frame rate smoke simulation. It can efficiently generate a high frame rate smoke simulation with a low computational cost than the conventional methods. However, uh, we have a plan to extend our methods in the direction that uh, considers the environmental features for the temporal interpolation. And also, we think about a uh, further study that the compensating method for the difference from the simulation generate with a, a small time step. I'm very thankful for your attention uh, and if you have any questions about the proposed method, please send emails to those addresses. Uh, thank you.